White text on a purple background reads, The Return of the 126th New York. A girl sits on her bed. This town's so boring. Time passes. The girl wanders around the room. On top of her dresser, she finds a locket and a journal. She sets the journal down. A ghostly Union soldier flies out of the journal and lands near the door. What is this? Who are you? I was storming that first you go to war, then you get sent into a journal for 150 years. Who are you? My name is Jacob. I am a private of the 126th and I fought in the Civil War. Wait, your name is Jacob? I have a story I want to tell you, so sit down and make yourself comfortable. She sits down on the bed. A map of Harper's Ferry spirals in. It was a humiliating affair. We were surrounded on all sides. Next, a small group of Confederate soldiers surrounds Union soldiers in a field. We were then rounded up and paroled by our Confederate captors. What? What is parole? A Confederate. You gentlemen are now prisoners of war. They made us take up an oath to not return for battle for an extended period of time until we were exchanged. In return, we would be allowed to return north instead of being hauled off to prison against the armies or forces of the Confederate cause under pain of death. Under pain, pain of, of death. death. The Union soldiers walk next to the Shenandoah River. On the way out of town, an incident occurred that restored some measure of my pride in my country and my fellow soldiers. As we were being lined up to march out of Harpers Ferry, all African Americans were being forced out of line. The Confederates had determined that these men would be returned to slavery. A Confederate soldier leads a Union soldier away. Why? If they were already free, why would they become slaves again? That's a good question. See, it was before the Emancipation Proclamation, and any slave who ran away to the Union line was not considered free yet. However, the 60th Ohio had several African Americans that had come from Ohio with them. Their Colonel Trimple was determined that these men would not be sent south into slavery. Next to Union General and a Confederate General. The Union General speaks first. But General Hill, these men have marched with us from Ohio. They were never slaves. They should be allowed to march with us across the river. Very well, but make it quick. The Union soldier who was removed is replaced in the line, and all Union soldiers march across the river. Forward march! A map of the United States. We were marched to Annapolis, Maryland. Later, we were sent to Camp Douglas in Chicago. Union soldiers in a brick building. A Union prison camp intended for Confederate prisoners. Why were Union soldiers sent to a prison camp for Confederates? Well, we were in the Army for maybe a month, and our commanders did not want any of us to head back to our homes for fear that we would never return to service. So they stuck us all in prison. Oh, how awful! What was it like? It was horrible. They say that over 4,000 soldiers died in there. How horrible! How did you survive? Guess I was just lucky. Finally, after several months, we were exchanged, allowed to return to the action. Sadly, by then, we were branded, known all over as the cowards of Harper's Ferry. Cowards? Yes. Since we were forced to surrender in such large numbers, we were called cowards. So what happened to you then? The soldiers on a battlefield? We faced off against A.P. Hill's forces during Pickett's famous charge at the Battle of Gettysburg that July. Many of these same men had been our captors at Harpers Ferry. I remember learning about that in school. I heard that the Union troops were shouting, Remember Fredericksburg, because they lost that battle the year before. Well, not everyone. My friends and I were shouting something different. Remember Harpers Ferry! Remember Harpers Ferry! Remember Harpers Ferry! Wow! So what happened next? Who won the battle? The Confederate charge was unsuccessful at breaking through our lines and their inability to advance turned the tide of the battle in our favor. This was later known as the high water mark of the Confederacy, the point after which the war was all but lost to them. Fire! Did you go on to fight other battles? Alas, no. Many Union soldiers died defending that ridge, and I was one of them. Jacob falls to the ground. The present. That's so sad. I can't believe that happened to you. 
Shut up, kid. It was for a worthy cause. Anyways, I owe you a debt of gratitude. For the past 150 years, my journal has been locked away in storage, unread and unknown all but to me. That is, until you came along. Now that I've been able to share my story with you, you can share the story with others. And I'm free to move on. Jacob vanishes. Comic book style text reads, The Return of the 126th New York. Director Alex Liddell, screenwriters Amanda Kidweiler, Colin Webster, storyboard artist Katie Lang, videographers Zach Barnett, Mason Hunt, film editors Sean Petrujita, Cameron Sadler, sound slash music editors Amelia Curry, Kelly O'Neill, costumers Aidan Boyer, Alexandra Whalen, actors Zach Barnett, Amelia Curry, Chase Duckworth, Matt Holmes, Mason Hunt, Amanda Kidweiler, Kara Climes, Katie Lang, Kelly O'Neill. Credits continue for several more seconds. Thank <laughs> you.